This is a public hearing conducted by the Independent International Commission of Inquiry on the Occupied Palestinian Territory, including East Jerusalem and Israel. I would like to welcome all of you very warmly to this first set of public hearings of the Commission of Inquiry. My name is Navi Pele and I am the chair of the Commission of Inquiry on the Occupied Palestinian Territory, um, including East Jerusalem and Israel. I'm here with two other commissioners whom you can see in the room, Chris Sidoti and Milun Khotari. I apologize that I'm participating remotely, but if we have technical difficulties, and of course for other sessions, my colleagues Chris Sidoti and Milun Khotari will also be chairing. The Commission of Inquiry was established by the UN Human Rights Council in May 2021 to investigate the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem and in Israel, of all alleged violations of international humanitarian law and all alleged violations and abuses of international human rights law leading up to and since 13th April 2021 and to investigate all underlying root causes of recurrent tensions, instability, and protraction of the conflict, including systematic discrimination and repression based on national, ethnic, racial, or religious identity. The Commission reports to the Human Rights Council and to the UN General Assembly on an annual basis. The Commission has already released two reports. Its first report was presented before the Human Rights Council in Geneva in June 2022, and the second report was presented 10 days ago before the third committee of the UN General Assembly. Within the scope of its investigations, the Commission has scheduled its first set of public hearings on two topics. One, the closure orders and terrorism designations of a number of Palestinian NGOs. And two, on the incident surrounding the killing of the journalist Shireen Abu Akhler. Victims, witnesses, civil society organizations, and legal representatives will be invited to provide relevant testimony to the Commission in this forum. The fact that the Commission will focus the hearings on these occurrences does not mean that it considers them a more important issue than others. The Commission had to prioritize, as these meetings are unfortunately limited in time. The Commission will also only be able to hear a limited number of civil society organizations, representatives, witnesses, and victims this week. The Commission may organize other sets of hearings at a later stage as its investigation progresses. And so we, the Commission, are very grateful to those who have agreed to participate in these public hearings, which, we, which will be broadcast live in English. The proceedings and the publicity given to the testimonies have been explained to the witnesses, and they have agreed to testify in public of their own free will. They know that what they say is being broadcast and recorded. They are also free to decline to answer any question put to them. The hearings are not judicial. The Commission is not a court, nor a Truth and Reconciliation Commission. During the hearings, questions may be put by all three commissioners to the witnesses. The aim is to allow victims and survivors on all sides to speak for themselves to the international community in a formal but comfortable setting. In that way, we hope that their concerns will be better understood by a worldwide audience and especially in the region where the events have taken place. 
The Commission has also invited the concerned states to provide all documentary evidence and information in their possession or under their control pertinent to the designation of the Palestinian NGOs and or the killing of Ms. Shireen Abu Akleh. So today's hearings will focus on the closure orders and the terrorism designation of a number of Palestinian NGOs. These are firstly Al-Haq, secondly Defense for Children International in Palestine, three Adamir, four Union of Palestinian Women's Com committees, five Bissan Center for Research and Development, six Union of Agricultural Work Committees, <coughs> excuse me, and seven Health Work Committees. So during your testimony, the Commission would like to hear from you on um, who you are, what do you do, and also the closure orders and the terrorism designation faced by your organization and more broadly, the treatment of civil society organizations in the OPT and Israel. So I urge you then before you begin, give us details of your name, your organization and its main focus, its activities and the reasons with, for which you accepted to testify before the Commission. <clears throat> so after su hearing from some Palestinian NGOs, we will also hear the testimony from Michael Svard, Al-Haq lawyer. And we invite him to not only speak about al but the issues faced by lawyers representing the NGOs in their efforts to challenge the designations. <clears throat> and we would also expect him to speak about the treatment of civil society organizations in the OPT and Israel in general. So let's begin. And before starting, let me remind you to please inform provide information on you, your work, and the reason for accepting to testify before the Commission. <clears throat> the first organization we will be hearing from today is Al-Haq, Al and we have, very fortunately, the director present, Shawan Jabarin. I hand you the floor to begin your testimony. Thank you. 